Hi and welcome to Text Nation TV. This week it's all about hardware and software updates. What's coming to you? Hi and welcome to Text Nation TV. My name's Rusty G. I'm Alan. And this week it's episode number 40. We're going to keep it short and sweet this 40. week. That's right, we're getting old. We're going to keep it short and sweet this week. We've only got a couple stories we want to talk about. Nothing big, really major league after the whole Samsung uh, Galaxy 3. And we actually got to yeah. sit down and talk with uh, Charles from Waxham or Charles, Charles Wah. Wah with Waxham. And yeah, that was pretty cool. So thank you very much for having us. And uh, thank you for all the tweets and everything that you shared our video with. Thank you very much for that. And we look forward to having the slingshot in hand, in studio, as it were. So we'll see that soon. Something else that you're going to see soon is going to be Internet Explorer. <laughs> exactly. But on the Xbox. So the idea here is... So like five people are excited. <laughs> so the idea here is that you want to kind of create the Xbox to be your home media device. Because right now you can, you can purchase a desktop PC, mm -hmm. make it into your own home media server, and you can have you know all your stuff and you've got a browser but some people don't want to have to build their own PC they don't want it to custom make anything they just don't like getting their hands dirty or things like that they just want to have it built the Xbox is that built thing it's already there so you've got the Xbox it's already a home media center basically with yep. Netflix Hulu uh, MS uh, or ESPN uh, MLB now I mean they've added so many video sources it's ridiculous there's, you know, they're their I, own box. I think now. that was the thought of uh, when Microsoft created this gaming platform is that we're just going to make this a computer because, I mean, everybody kind of saw the desktop PC was kind of fading away. Right. That's why they put, you know, so much memory on this thing that yeah, they saw that this was going to be coming. Plus, the other thing now is uh, with the whole Microsoft starting the $99 Xbox with your two year subscription, mm -hmm. it's just like buying a cell phone now. You can get that cheaper priced Xbox. You know, because you're signing that two-year contract. Yeah. Because right now you don't have to buy Xbox Live with your Xbox, but it's kind of stupid not to. Because what's an Xbox without Xbox Live? So that's you know kind of here and there. But yeah, we're, well, it's it's a uh, it's a dream. Is it is it is it coming down the route coming down the road this week? Probably not. No. Maybe in the near future, summer in the summer. Maybe. Probably uh, around Windows Eight. Yeah, I, I I would say so. Uh, and I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again just because I want to reiterate this every time we talk about the Xbox. I really think Microsoft should split Xbox into two versions coming up on the next revamp. Right now, everybody's saying 720 because obviously that's just the next thing to follow in line. But whatever they come out with the next Xbox, whatever mm -hmm. it is, I really think one should be nothing but a home media center for those that want to keep that cheaper price because that's all they need. Yeah. And then one maybe a hundred dollars more for the gaming platform, so that if you can have both and gaming and Microsoft makes more money that way. Yeah, and you can save money just because the home one you can pretty much just make an Apple TV. Right. You don't have to have a disk drive, or peripherals or anything really, just a, a wireless remote or something like that. Yeah, and the fact that they have Connect controls, you know, oh, and yeah. the Connect exactly. The Connect is going to be part of this internet browsing thing, so you, you can, can see it's here. a point to Rusty's Connect. <laughs> But you'll be able to control things with your hands and things like that. And the Connect is real sensitive. If you ever sat in my house with the Connect, you can be watching something on Hulu or Netflix and just move your hand like this, and it automatically you see the thing in the corner go. <laughs> it's like, wow, that's pretty sensitive. So uh, they're making the Connect better as it goes on. So that's that's kind of cool, you know. Like I said, Microsoft, if you're listening to me, if anybody's watching this, two Xboxes, one for the cheaper, just home media crowd, that Apple TV thing, whatever it is, with a Connect. You know, sell that package together and media plus, you know, make it an Xbox Plus so that you get the gaming yeah. and everything that you need. Because on the low end, you won't need all that memory. You won't need all the hardware on the inside. On the high end, you'll need that memory for the video and all that stuff. And, you know, Microsoft used to add in plus to something and charging a little bit more. <laughs> Remember for Windows Plus. <laughs> Windows 98 Plus. Yeah, that was. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the next story. All right, something else hopefully coming soon. And we talked about this on the iPad. Well, we call it iPad 3, but when the new iPad was coming out is a rumor of a 7-inch iPad coming. So, according to Cold of Mac, there's been a little more heavier rumors uh, drop that October there will be a 7-inch iPad announced. Right. Uh, I don't know. Hooey? 
<laughs> well, I, I won't say who he because uh, Tim Cook. I don't know how he. I don't think Steve Jobs would have one. Yeah, I don't think Steve would. Because I, I don't think he would waste the time with such a small screen. Right. But maybe Tim Cook um, has a different vision for it, and we'll possibly see. Um, but the uh, price is looking good. Two hundred bucks to two fifty is yeah. what they were quoting. Um, also, resolution supposed to be the same Retina display as we yeah. have on ours. Right. And well, I wouldn't say we because I still have well, an iPad one, and you have an iPad two, so we both both don't have the Retina display. So, well, it it's still a good display, <laughs> right? You know, um, uh, eight gigs is what the storage capacity is. What they're saying will for the two hundred dollar entry price, right? Yeah. And uh, nothing else really on that. Just more speculation, but they're saying that possibly this could really put a, um, I guess, chaos. And the smaller like Android. Yeah, because you've got the Samsung Galaxy Tab Seven Point whatever. You've yeah. got the Amazon Kindle Fire, which I bought my mother. And, and the had. Asus and the Vsonics and all the other cheap companies who just took the who could just put Android in anything, a picture frame, and pretty much call it a tablet now. Right. So I don't. I kind of. I kind of like that aspect of the competition, though. Right. It, it, I, I'm, I'm with you on the whole Steve Jobs wouldn't do it thing. It's like no, they're already doing it. We don't even need to be in that fight because we're. Here, this is us. Yeah, Let's he, focus he would on already be thing. planning on something better, right? You know, just drop maybe a hundred and twenty-eight gigabyte iPad instead of a sixty-four because I need a lot of video when I go to Peru to watch. <laughs> but uh, moving on, uh, another app though, Google Plus. They just redesigned their entire website. And if you have not seen it, this is pretty much what it looks like. It's a lot cleaner, a lot nicer, a lot more white space. Some people are complaining about all the white space and all the wasted space. Uh, I think it looks great. I think it looks wonderful. The only complaint I have... Have they seen it before? Yeah, I know. The The only complaint I have is when I'm when I'm curating several pages, uh, this show and the other show, on the bottom, when you go down to the right, right there, you have to click on Pages. Then when you load Pages, there's another page that loads and lets you select. That's fine, but when I come back from Pages, and I go want to go back to another page or another pro or just my personal profile. If you look right here, yeah, you see that mm -hmm. right there. Uh huh. Yeah, it's just one click. It's like highlight over on the side, and then there's your selection. It's not load a page and then load a page. It's just load a little applet or widget or whatever you want to call it off to the side. Fix it so it's that way all the time. So when I go in between pages and profiles and things like that that I'm curating, it makes it easier. That's my only complaint. But either way. Google iOS, or Google Plus for iOS, updated their app that was released this week. So you'll see that now. It looks a lot better. It's more along the lines of whenever you open it up now, it's more picture eccentric, and you'll see your banner, as it were, because now Facebook has the whole timeline thing. Yeah. It has that whole cover page. But you'll see here, uh, you'll see pictures. You know, and then the message, and then picture, message or video, whatever it is. I mean, you can kind of see here, it's it's picture picture eccentric, it's media eccentric, and you know, you'll have text overlay or whatever it might be, depending on how big the picture is. It's a little bit nicer. It looks you know, it looks, looks a better. lot better. Yeah, I mean, it kind of reminds me of the new Facebook now that they put text over pictures mm -hmm. on your friends, on your profiles, and things like that. So yeah, it looks better. I think it looks a lot better. Um, there'll always be complaints about it because it wasn't the way it was before. So you know, I, I don't know what to say about that. I just think it looks better, and there's no reason to complain. So I think even for it being really an iPhone app, it still looks good on the iPad. You know, sometimes you get that 2x to stretch out the screen and it just looks terrible. Yeah. This one still looks good even when you stretch it out to fit an iPad screen. So. For you Android folks, it's coming soon and they're going to have a special surprise for you too. So make sure you stay tuned for that as well if you're in the, on the Android platform and haven't gotten a cool new update. Yes. Tell us about the last story before we get out of here because this one was actually kind of cool. Yeah, so as you know, we're big Kickstarter fans. Uh, like Russ was saying, we got a new, well, we are, already have an interview with Charles Wall, the inventor of the slingshot, which we'll be putting up here shortly. We already put it up, by the way, just so you know. Okay. I'm a little behind, but that's all right. What I want to talk about is the Pebble. And unless you're living under a rock, you should know what the Pebble watch is. <laughs> it's basically the Cinderella story of Kickstarter. This thing is, still has eight days to go. And right now at this time, $10,169,058. Or $10,169,058. <laughs> 
Still eight days ago. Still eight days ago. Mm. They're the highest gaining. They're the number one in Kickstarter ever. Ever. And the funny part about it is they actually had to call everything off and said, that's it, we're not making any more. I think it was 250, no, I take that back. What's the number? There's a number in there somewhere. There was a story. I can't remember the number. It's it's like 250,000 or... That's all they're making? Yeah, they're, they just basically said, that's it, we... we, we we can't make our deadline if we order anymore. So they're, I, I'll have the number up right here, but whatever that number is, they're, all you can do now is donate a dollar to have your name put on the website, I think is what it is. That's the only thing you can do anymore. Because yeah. everything else, they have blocked off because they're like, we appreciate it, guys, but we can't make any more. So that's, well, at least they're being honest and not you know, trying to get rich and not fulfill the orders. Well, they, they're rich. $10 million? The rich. Well, $10 million to patent lawyers, to distributors, to building the... Yeah. It, you know, I don't even know what Kickstarter wants out of that. Kind. I was going to say, I think $5 million is probably enough to cover all of that, and then they take the other five. And Uncle Sam. So so remember that. If you want to put, put something on Kickstarter, that that backer fee, what you got, isn't what you're getting. So <laughs> yeah, a lot of people have messed up thinking, oh, well, you know, all these people are making quick money. I'll just put my thing on Kickstarter. And no, it, there was an iPhone case that really flopped. It's really cool looking, but... What case was that? Did, I, did we talk about that? We didn't talk about that. Okay, good. It, it pretty much killed the signal. Because okay. it was made from uh, aluminum. Okay, I got gotcha. Nice looking case, but killed the signal and pretty much ruined their reputation oh, on wow. Kickstarter and everywhere else so be smart about it but we want to congratulate pebble or whatever the company's name is whoever makes this thing good job yeah and all you kickstarters out there keep it up keep up the good work keep coming out with good products and then you know keep bringing it to the thing the most popular thing on kickstarter right now is music uh, a lot of bands are doing this yeah. thing and it's I, I i could never see kickstarter being the music thing but uh apparently it works for them so yeah just be smart Make sure you follow us online. Like I said, we're going to keep it a short episode this week. Make sure you follow us online. We've got six different places. I'll give you number one. YouTube.com slash TV. Add us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash TV. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. Twitter.com slash TV. Our website, hopefully, TextNation.tv. No. <laughs> it's there, but still not fixed. I apologize for that. I will get to it at some point in time. Uh, I take care of gplus.to, which is our Google Plus page, gplus.to slash TV. Yes, that's a cool logo right there. I like that. And I don't know what they call you, but add us on Pinterest at pinterest.com slash TV. <laughs> pinners? I, I don't know. Yeah, it is pinners. I think okay. they're called pinners. I'm yeah. new to the community. <laughs> so come by and say hey. Make sure also, if you would like, we have two of our favorite viewers that always leave comments, but we would like to add, see some more people. Leave comments, retweet us, do whatever it is that you do, and just share us among your friends. Let us know, you know, email us. Well, don't email us because we don't have an email. But, you know, tweet us back and, or, you know, let us know something on our Facebook page. On all of our sites, there's a way to get a hold of us. Exactly. We'll see you again for episode number 41. Thanks for watching.